This is a presentation about a good vibes generator for Microsoft Teams. Very, very shortly about myself and Lee. I'm Louise Fraser. I'm an M365 and Power Platform Consultant from Germany. I'm an MVP for M365 Development and Business Applications. If you want to, you can find my blog at m365princess.com and please also do follow me on Twitter. Okay, uh, and my name is Lee Ford. I'm a, a solution architect um, for a company called Simity in the UK. Uh, I mainly work in Teams app development, um, but it also sort of bleeds into other parts of uh, Microsoft 365. I blog at uh, lee-ford.co.uk and you can follow me on Twitter at lee underscore Ford. Okay, what time is it? I think it's demo time, so. <laughs> <laughs> I went a bit early, sorry. Yeah, a little bit early. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So uh, here we go. All right. I'll, I'll zoom in a bit. Okay, so we generated um, a good vibes generator. So purpose of that is to send positive affirmations on a schedule and whenever needed to people in the workplace. So where they actually work, which is of course in Teams. So we will uh, trigger our bot right now. OK, yep. Yeah. So uh, let me I'm going to trigger it through uh, in Azure, but uh, we can also trigger it in Teams. So I'm just going to here. Let's just do a run, to make sure it actually works. We think about it. Oh, God, that doesn't look good. So we Thanks can do them, this God. also, yeah. also just like from Teams, so just like sending any message to that bot and it will return a very, very nice message as an adaptive uh, card. Two or two accepted, I think. So we should hopefully be getting a message at some point. That would be uh, nice. So last one, right before the call, it worked. Hey, that saucy personality should be taught in school. You feel me? So that is the kind of vibe that we wanted to give our uh, people in the workspace, which of course is a very, very cool thing. And we would love to show how we accomplish that. So how are we doing this, Lee? Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, yeah. Yep, so yeah. that one's come through. Uh, yeah, so right. Ace, your life's journey rolls like a line, you hidden gem. So whenever you agree with that, please just like send a message right now to the chat because we want to know. Okay, so uh, when we uh, tried to build that, we had just like several um, design goals and I think we have a slide for that as well. So first of our design goals was we wanted to be secretless as much as possible. So I hate to deal with secrets because it's always like um, rotation is an issue, story is an issue. Um, it expires the day you want to demo it. That is an issue as well. So uh, we wanted to go as secretless as possible. Uh, second thing is we wanted to be serverless because I don't want to host that myself. So um, you can imagine that we're just like super, super big fans of um, Azure Functions, which means that if we don't use it a lot, it will not cost a fortune or almost nothing, which is very, very cool. And third design goal was to be open source because we believe in community. And if you want to contribute to this bot, you can absolutely do this as well. OK, so what is the architecture, Lee? Yep, yeah, so the architecture is 100% uh, hosted in Azure. Um, so sort of the main component is Azure Functions. So that's where the application logic is stored. That's where when we send out a message, it comes from Azure Functions. Uh, when uh, the bot gets triggered, it goes into Azure Functions. So that's the main sort of component. Um, and what you'll notice here is we do have a couple of managed identities. Um, and like we said, one of the sort of key design goals was having uh, no secrets. So we're using managed identity in two ways. We're using the user assigned one to communicate with the bot. So we're not using any client secrets or anything like that. And similarly with Cosmos DB for database storage and for the storage account, which is required for the Azure function to run, um, again, using managed identity from the Azure function to those components. And finally, exactly. the key vault is there as a backup for things that we can't really store as a in managed identity, things like URIs and uh, tenant IDs and things like that. Yeah, so for everyone who is not super familiar with what, what is a managed identity, usually you would need to have an app registration and that app registration comes with a secret and then you have that problem to handle that secret. And all of that is abstracted away from you if you use a managed identity because then Microsoft cares about that and the secret is not even exposed to you nor to your developers. So there is no way where you can just like know that secret and need to handle this on your own, which is just like a perfect use case for that. Mm -hmm. 
so um, I think now if we go back to the the Azure portal, we can quickly yes. go through just the sort of the the, the basic construct of the uh, the application. So um, show me some code. I want to see the Azure function. <laughs> you want to see the Azure function? So, okay. <laughs> we want to so, see the, uh, the Azure function. Yeah. So, so let's let's go into 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 VS Code. So we have two main entry points for the bot to work to, to be able to get a good vibe. So the first one is where we uh, the bot uh, bot Microsoft bot is listening on messages coming from Teams users, uh, and then it triggers this Azure function. Um, and this Azure function effectively creates uh, a good vibe bot. Um, and the bot is then run. If I just show you the bot code, uh, essentially we have on message. So when we receive a message from the Teams user, we store the conversation uh, reference. And the reason we store conversation reference is that when we want to send out messages sort of uh, scheduled, we have a conversation reference, i.e. we know where to send it to. It's not just an email address. It's, a, it's an ID and a name and a, and, and a few other bits. So we store that in Cosmos DB um, and then we get um, a vibe. So if I just quickly show what we mean by getting a vibe, we have a list of phrases. So we have um, uh, and, and effectively we we um, combine them um, to, to to generate a good vibe. And once we've created a good vibe, we, we send it on an adaptive card um, out to the uh, out to the user. Uh, and then the final um, bit in here is on a member's added. So when uh, a member is added to the to the, the or the bot is added to a person's chat, we send a welcome message, say, hey, we're the good vibes bot, send us a message and we'll send you a good vibe, that sort of thing. So that's one type of interaction. And then the other interaction is, which is what I showed you earlier, where we trigger the, the bot to run um, on a scheduled uh, interval. Um, obviously, I manually run it that time, but that's uh, where we're using durable function, which means we can use it at scale. Or we can kind of send out a thousand messages rather than sending one message at a time. We can kind of sort of scale out. And what we're doing here if is we wanted to just like send thousands of messages. Yes, exactly right. right yeah. yeah. So 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 obviously in our scenario it's a couple of us. Um, but if this is rolled out to an organization in theory, anyone could um, interact with the bot, you know, and, and all of a sudden we have a thousand people wanting good vibes every day, then then it's kind of built ready for that. So uh, similar to the way it worked before, we're um, getting the conversations which we stored in the previous uh, method where we communicate with the bot for the first time. Mm -hmm. We uh, generate a good vibe for each conversation and then we send that good vibe uh, for each conversation uh, using the uh, the bot framework. So um, the interesting thing is we randomize all these phrases. So we have four kind of phrases. First, we have just like a greeting phrase, which is something we, we have a slide for that, exactly. We, we have a slide uh, for that, yeah. We, we have a slide for everything, yeah. So uh, first is uh, a greeting phrase like, hey, or listen up, so just like to, to, to have a nice hook uh, for our uh, new conversation. Second uh, part of that is we want to address a personal trait or something about your personality, just like, hey, your hair, your personality. So something about the person that we want to send the affirmation uh, to. Uh, third part is the compliment itself. So the nice thing that we want to say about us, like, is awesome or absolutely rules the world, something like that. So the, the actual, um, yeah, yeah, it should be a teachable skill because uh, yeah. I believe everything is a teachable skill. Um, yeah. And then we end with something, we end the vibe with, uh, and that's uh, just a fact. And we, um, well, we close this vibe again. And what we did is so we, we store all these phrases in Cosmos DB and then we randomize that so that we can just like have a lot of different vibes even if we have just like a limited set of phrases, but they're just like, yeah, a lot of just like combinations possible so that it does not feel always the same for our users, even if they get more and more and more of these vibes because they can trigger the bot by just like texting to it in Teams or it runs on a schedule and we have a Cronus job um, in place for, for us. It's now at 12 p.m. every single day, but um, you can do whatever you like with that. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and yeah, from next, the next thing, uh, so yeah. we uh, still need to uh, show the adaptive card. 
because oh, sorry. that okay. is how this then arrives in teams, right? We want yes. to send this yes. as an adaptive yes, card. And of course, the adaptive card has uh, some uh, minor code as well. So this is just like super easy because uh, we only send the Git vibe and then a footer which says made with love by working on it. So um, you can get that as well and customize this message, of course. And then it arrives in teams and uh, our user is happy. To make you now happy, we of course support you with deploying uh, this Good Vibes generator. So if you feel like, hey, this is something that I want to try out as well, or maybe you do not want to send Good Vibes, but anything else that can be just like sent on a schedule or just like by triggering something, and you would think, hey, I can reuse that architecture. We um, we have something in place. So uh, we have a PowerShell script that uh, then deploys everything for you. Uh, we use infrastructure as code with BICEP because uh, less squiggly brackets. I uh, really appreciate that. So this is um, this is the way how to do this. Also, it's the <laughs> it's the nerdiest uh, dad joke in the world, just like from ARM templates, the uh, BICEP. And I really like that. Um, there is a zip file still that you will need to uh, unpack. This is because sometimes it can be really, really slow when you um, have this cold start in the very beginning. So we provide you with some files to make that easier and last but not least we of course have a teams app package because otherwise it would be a teams application so we provide you with that as well and all of that of course is available on github uh we will submit a pr uh right now it's uh on github.com slash working on it slash git vibes generator and we hope that um you can just like contribute to that as well or find more use cases and find this valuable thank you Excellent. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Louisa. Really, really cool yeah. stuff and, and great to see. Uh, well, great to see good vibes. That's always really good. So the positivity <laughs> is the, the, the engine of the world to keep us moving. So thank you for that. Really, really cool stuff. Mm -hmm.